It's so very easy to just point, laugh or be angry at the names some celebrities give to their children. And that's pretty understandable. I mean, Nicolas Cage named his son Kal-El, Gwyneth Paltrow named her daughter Apple, and of course Kanye West named his daughter North. And yet, while it is so common to just observe this phenomenon that the upper echelon of society seem to be so fond of, few seem to actually think, why? Why is it that ordinary folks seem to be able to easily choose words that society deem to be acceptable names, yet celebrities seem to name their children anything? First off, of course, this idea that all celebrities give their children unusual names and ordinary people don't isn't black and white. There are many cases of celebrities giving their children more acceptable names and ordinary people giving their kids more unusual names. We only hear about these bizarre names, however, because fundamentally of how the news works. In its most basic form, news exists to tell us about things out the ordinary, because they're the things a lot of humanity are most interested to know about. It tells us when one plane crashes, yet it doesn't tell us about all the planes that don't crash. This might sound a bit tinfoil hat, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but in my eyes, this is how it is. This logic of course applies to names too. If you're an A-list celebrity, certain news outlets will report on your child's birth no matter what you name that bundle of joy. Yet if you're a B-list celebrity or lower than that, they may not because there might just not be enough public interest in what your loins have created. The main aim of being a celebrity is to be in the public eye and more importantly to maintain yourself in that public eye. Of course, a large majority of celebrities will do this through the work they make and the things they achieve that will forever stand the test of time. Some celebrities however won't ever be a Bowie or an Armstrong, though even my hero wasn't shy of giving his kids ridiculous names, and they must create a way to keep themselves in the public knowledge. A great way of maintaining in the public knowledge is to evoke an emotional reaction. While this might be done through doing a good deed or making a funny on the internet, we all know from a certain other educational YouTuber that the best way to evoke an emotional reaction is through anger. If you haven't seen Grey's This Video Will Make You Angry, it will be linked down below. But TLDW, thoughts and ideas can spread like germs, e.g. you hear a joke, tell it to more people, they tell it to more people, so on. And the thought germs that spread best are angry thought germs. This can commonly be seen on social media. Someone sees something that makes them angry and share it with their followers explaining how angry said thing makes them, successfully spreading the hate germ. A certain ilk of celebrity pretty much make a living from outraging people in this fashion. They however will not be named as I don't want to spread those hate germs. So how do thought germs relate to baby names? Well, celebrities can use unusual baby names to spread thought germs. For this video I had to delve into one of the darkest corners of the internet. No, darker than that. Ugh, I'm so sorry internet. In an article from the Mail Online, oh it hurts just saying it. Relationships author Anjula Mutunda explains, an unforgettable name supposedly equals an unforgettable person, a psychologically clever move if you as a celebrity want to remain relevant and remarkable. This means when a celebrity does give their child an unusual name, one that perhaps does enrage you in its sheer stupidity, that emotional reaction may spark you to share the name on your social media, or even just talk to people in person about how dumb it is. You'd be more likely to say to your friends, did you see that dumb name so and so gave their kid, as opposed to, did you see that so and so called their kid Tom. Nothing against the name Tom, I guess it's just my go to name. If a celebrity can do something, such as give their child an unusual name, that provokes enough of an emotional reaction from you that it not only stays in your brain but makes you share that news with someone else, then they have successfully burrowed their way into your subconsciousness and made themselves still relevant.